Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another spiritual experiment. And today's experiment is inspired by the, by what I think are the writings of Pierre Teilhard de Chardin, the Jesuit. And I say I think because I was just trying to source the origins of the quote, and there's some question as to its origins. But um, ironically, I was going to do this spiritual experiment and one of the participants in our uh, inner circle platinum, Michael Eisbrenner, shared a, a long version of the quote. So I'm going to use his version of it. So it's Michael's fault, but I'm Michael too, so it's, it, it, it's me. But here's the quote. You've probably heard the middle bit of it. By means of all created things, without exception, the divine assails us, penetrates us, and molds us. We imagined it as distant and inaccessible, when in fact we live steeped in its burning layers. To see more is to become more. You are not a human being in search of a spiritual experience. You are a spiritual being immersed in a human experience. Remain true to yourself, but move ever upward toward greater consciousness and greater love. At the summit, you will find yourselves united with all those who, from every direction, have made the same ascent. For everything that rises must converge. So as I say, the bit you're probably familiar with, or at least a variation of, is you are not a human being in search of a spiritual experience. You are a spiritual being immersed in a human experience. And as with, with each of these spiritual experiments, we kind of start with the idea, well, what, what if that's just true? <laughs> like, let's live for a minute, for a day, for a while, as if those aren't just pretty words. And see what happens. See what we see, because, as he says, um, to see more is to become more. So what would it mean to be a spiritual being immersed in a human experience? How can you live today as if that's just true? Well, to be a spiritual being, to me, means that our essential nature is not in form. If we think of spiritual and material, formless and form, then by, by definition, a spiritual being is formless in nature. It is before the form. It is our true identity, our essential nature. It's who we would be regardless of where we were born, regardless of what nationality, what religion, what gender, what personality emerged. It would be the level of what we'd often call the soul. But what does it mean then to be immersed in a human experience? It means that we're, we're, we're here. Like we are incarnate. We are in form. We have to live inside of what Tyre de Chardin described as a, a, a prison. <laughs> a lot of mystics describe the, the form as a prison that we don't realize we're trapped in. But but whether we take kind of a, such a pessimistic view of it, this is about the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. This is about the game, the games of life. This is about love and it's about loss. It's about new life coming into being and it's about death. That is the game of being human. And that is the human experience. And one thing that seems pretty clear to me is there, there's, there's no way out of the human experience as long as you are in human form. So if you want to play with this particular experiment, just consider the possibility that you really are, at essence, made of nothing. Made of that which makes up everything. And if you know that, how does that change the way you experience the human experience. You interact within the human experience. And whatever you find in your experiments, I'd love it if you share 
Share some highlights in the comment section below. Have fun, learn heaps, happy exploring, and I'll talk with you soon.